play, we eat, we go out. We, pr we pray, we eat lunch, we go out, we pray, we eat dinner, we have a service. And that's every single day. It ended up going for 52 consecutive days to the point that schools were letting kids out so they could go to the services. To the point that built, uh, businesses like Chrysler were shutting their doors for a few hours saying, hey, we're going to have Bible study. To the point that the Ford factory in Chicagoland has invited them in to do prayer in their break rooms, things like that. It has hit the economy because people are hungry. People are putting down the walls of, of religion. The religion and denomination saying we can all agree on the cross. We don't agree on everything, and we don't have to agree on everything. We agree on this. Let's go after this. And so we're from different parts, um, about an hour away, about an hour and a half away, and we just come together and say we're not just going to pray for Chicago and pray for Inglewood. We're going to take a step and start going in and doing something. Amen. And that's all we're doing. We're nothing special. We're just walking out. We don't have any better method than anyone else. The method is go. That's right. That's our method. And um, I, I also ask this guy, I pray a peace upon them for receiving us. Thank you for receiving a prophet in the name of a prophet. I just pray the prophet's peace upon this place for the food. Um, I'll let my brother uh, say a few words as well. You want to say something? I mean, the food was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, we're glad to be here, honestly. We just, you know, we, we honestly got to minister to so many people, pray to so many people. I mean, this was the second group. We had two groups in the morning. Uh, we got to pray, pray for over 10 people. The second session was us... Uh, us four, he wasn't with us, but this is awesome. He's an awesome guy. Um, what is it? And uh, we got six salvations in a matter of like an hour, hour, I don't know, hour or so, hour and a half. So it was awesome. God was really moving. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I love this quote. I'm just going to share it again. But, you know, um, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And when we step out um, and take risk for Jesus, we actually become freer and freer the more we take risk. Okay, so we got to step out, you know, we got to break down those barriers, break down the obstacles and get rid of that timidity, get rid of that fear because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power yeah. yeah. uh, and a sound yeah. mind. Hallelujah, right? So praise God and bless you guys so much. I got something to say real quick. I woke up today, my mom was like, where are you going? I'm going to Chicago. She goes, what part? I said, Inglewood. She goes, no, you, no, you're not. You ain't going there. I said, I said, yeah, I bet. I'm going. I said, God's with me. I don't care. I, I'm doing God's work. And I've only been saved for a year. I don't care how long you've been saved for. If you're hungry, I'm telling you, God will use you. This used to be my dope dealer right here. I led him to the Lord and my foreign exchange student. And now we, I love evangelism because I have, a, I have a passion for Jesus. I want my soul, my soul to the devil. But God came in our life. And, and all we have to do as Christians, all we have to do is plant a seed. And God will water it. He'll do the rest. He'll save it. We don't have to worry. We have a lot of people turn us down, turn their back on us. But I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. When you just tell them Jesus loves you, he has a plan for your life. People get touched from it. We had nine kids, 10 to 13 years old, on a street corner. No parents, no parents around. We go up to them. We're like, can we pray for you guys? They're all like laughing and joking. And I was like, you know, can we just you know, get together and hold hands? They said, yeah, sure. So we got, I got in the middle and I got to anoint their heads. And I said, you're going to be a world changer. There's, there's greatness inside you. And I was just going one by one, telling, speaking life into these young kids because even though they don't have moms and dads in their, in their lives, I tell them, God, God, there's a Father in heaven that has a plan for your life, and he's going to take care of you. We gave them money. We gave them our wristbands. We gave them a Bible. We gave them everything, and these kids just loved it. So I just, I just encourage you guys. I encourage you guys as a body of Christ to go out, go out and evangelize. Don't, don't be so involved inside the church, but go outside the church. And that's all I got to say. But I love you guys. Thank you for having me. The food is awesome. And bro, hopefully next time we'll have those sauteed centipedes. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Come on. Give me that. I'm telling them that I'm a different.